at the start of their journey, they think outside the box and they often come up with bright ideas. Their projects are innovative, they are a new generation of business people and their distinguishing features are creativity and enthusiasm. This is the world of startups, the program about IT developers and the industry of startups. Hello and welcome to the World of Startups, a TV program for those who like high tech. I'm Siri Kakishev. Kazakhstani entrepreneurs share with secrets of success with us and Western scientists talk about their amazing inventions. And our job is to select the best and tell you about the recent innovations from the screens of TVs and computer monitors. Find out the most interesting by now on this edition. Please hold on, or how application phone booth fights with call centers to save your money. Find out about the recent mobile trends that make your smartphone multifunctional and learn about smart watches, a personal doctor and other gadgets presented at the IDC Enterprise Mobility Roadshow Almaty. Learn how to write letters of applications to investors in order to be heard and to receive a positive reply from them. Probably everyone has experienced being put on hold while making a phone call to a call center. This silence while waiting takes the money away from your mobile phone account, and yet you don't get the information you want. In this case, you should either use a landline phone or download mobile application phone booth. Let's call the Narodny Bank, for example. Dial the eternal number of the recipient or hold on the line for the operator's reply. This familiar phrase is not only annoying, but it also takes your money. Well, now you can avoid this part of the phone conversation. At least this is promised by founders of the phone booth mobile application in Astana. They say, thanks to the service, your mobile phone units will be safe. Our mobile app, in a nutshell, can be called Viber plus Yellow Pages combined. You can now imagine, through Viber and Skype, you can make free calls to your friends. But on our app, you can make free calls not to your friends, but to various organizations. Phoneboot has a large database of phone numbers, 10,000 organizations. It also has a unique function, visual menu. This enables the caller to skip the unnecessary recorded information on who and how to call. The mobile company spent several months and about $40,000 for creating the application. Uh, in our catalog, most of the organizations don't even know we exist. We just connect phone calls from smartphones to a landline recipient through the IP technology phone service. In the future, the phone boot company is planning to launch the system of feedback. The users will be able to read other people's opinions and leave their comments on a kind of public notepad, which will make smartphone users' life a lot easier. From year to year, the smartphone has fewer and fewer features that resemble a telephone. It suggests eating fewer sweets, reminds you of not being late for a meeting or of feeding a virtual cat. How will the smartphone revolutionize next year? Find out from a special report from the Mobility Roadshow 2015 Almaty. Watch trends. Don't be scared if you find a talking cat on your smartphone. This is probably a recurrent mobile trend. There are more developments like this every year. By 2020, one in five internet users will get access to the internet through mobile gadgets, and the expenses for mobile advertising will comprise 45% from all the digital market, or $110 billion a year. These trends, as well as others, were discussed at the Mobility Roadshow 2015 conference, which has recently been held in Almaty. Experts have identified three trends for the development of the mobile industry, which we talk about next. Today, mobile internet users are more active than others. For example, iPad owners buy more goods than owners of other gadgets. Online shops cause demand creating mobile versions of their websites and producing specialized mobile apps. 
Наличие большого количества мобильных устройств. The availability of a large number of mobile applications enables to create new models of monetization, making money for various companies from retail for hotels and shops. The Internet of Things is the same kind of World Wide Web, with the only difference that a computer or smartphone interacts with other gadgets without a mediator that is without another person. For instance, your smartphone may operate household appliances such as a coffee-making machine and security systems. On top of that, a thing that is connected to the Internet is not just a thing, it becomes a service. A coffee-making machine becomes an instrument for collecting data about the product consumption. In other words, it knows when and how much coffee you consume, and all these data are automatically sent to companies that produce coffee, which will contribute to the enhancing of the product in the future. Interactive panels, virtual changing rooms, online guides, all these are elements of augmented reality. For example, a gastronome in the matter of Seoul City is a good example of confluence of interactive technology and traditional retail when the latter is closely related to the former. Another example is an offline shop built on the principle of online inside, where the customer can find out everything about the produce, pay for it without interacting with the salesperson. Therefore, undoubtedly, augmented reality is the trend of the year. In the near future, human beings will become more mobile and accessible everywhere. This will bring in a lot of changes. Indeed, we live in the times of a technological revolution that is making mankind more mobile. What sort of future is awaiting us and what trends will we eyewitness? We will talk about it later, but while waiting, talk to your virtual cat on your smartphone. Emails are not just a means of virtual communication. With their help, people keep up correspondence, send and forward important documents and even get contracts. But sometimes your message may get lost among hundreds of others because the mailbox may not be thoroughly checked. While in daily life, etiquette is all about kinds of behavior in public, netiquette is about the same unwritten rules, but on the Internet. These kind of rules relate to writing emails among others. And if you follow at least three rules from the list of others, your email message will not get lost among other emails on your potential investor's mailbox. Rule number one, send your emails in the morning. Early correspondence springs to the recipient's eyes more often. On the other hand, late emails are effective too. Most messages are usually sent from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. at the height of the working day. However, emails sent between 7 and 8 a.m. as well as after 8 p.m. find the recipient more often than others. Rule number two, always mention the subject of the message. And probably you know that the shorter the message, the more effective it is. However, the length of the subject of the message does not matter. And finally, rule number three, wait for the reply within 24 hours. Experience suggests that 90% of replies are received within one day from the moment of sending the message. If during 24 hours you don't get a reply, send it again and don't be shy. Lack of confidence won't help. There is one more rule in etiquette that often works, and this rule is the absence of any rules. And that's all for now. I'm Sergei Akishev and the world of startups, which knows about business more than any startups. You don't believe, do you? Then see you next week on Kazakh TV.